Yo, what is up guys? Zorin here with another 1010 Rank Series video. Okay, so today we're still going to be using that team that I was using where I fixed it with the headshine. I still feel like... I still feel like I need to get rid of um, Midrasil in this team. But... I still have no clue who to get, to get rid of it. Um, to kind of like replace it with. So I'm just going to keep it there for now. But for now, um, yeah, we're just going to be using the same team from, you know, two, two, uh, two videos already. Uh, it's, 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 it's a pretty fun team, and I still haven't really gotten to use the Goal Z yet, like, completely. And I honestly really enjoy running Venmet in, in this team, uh, especially a very aggressive one. It's like a truck. It's, it's, it's fun when it gets a more whip, and it's, it's honestly pretty fun to just play, so... I'm gonna keep going. Um, honestly, I don't know um, how long I'm gonna keep making these videos. Though I will be honest with you guys, I am getting a little burnt out of Temtem. Um, like I said, the meta has been stale for quite some time now, um, and it almost feels like Krema just can't balance the game properly and just keeps things like like Gyalus was a nice change, but a lot of other things ended up just staying, and it's kind of getting out of control. And it makes it kind of difficult to kind of enjoy the game and trying to find new things to do because a lot of things don't really end up working due to what's in the meta. You can't really go, you can't really be as flexible as something like Pokemon, even though Pokemon's meta is a little bit stale as well right now. You see basically the same time, the same Pokemon, I mean, in, in Pokemon right now. And uh, the difference though is that in Pokemon, at least, even if you see the same, let's say, Fluttermane, Fluttermain is like very very popular right now, right? In Pokemon if you if you are into that kind of stuff. And it's it the, the thing about it though is that usually it can have many different um sets and items and spreads that kind of keep it interesting. Whereas in Temtem, that's not the case that you can do. With just one Tem. Plateau probably comes the closest and then it just doesn't work that really well for Temtem because it's kind of dumb that one there's one temtem that has coverage like crazy but then every other time doesn't really have that kind of luxury and it kind of makes it harder to team build when they're kind of stuck to their typings like let's say uh like you know anything like capire or recon basically like recon is solo fire so it you it has held anger but it its only other option is literally quetzalenio and so you're kind of stuck with that and so you're completely at the mercy of you know water thames earth thames anything that blocks you just makes it hard to kind of run them and that's kind of a, just the problem with temtem in general so temtem is kind of like losing its, its touch a lot of people are leaving the game so it's very 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 hard to uh keep this game going you know I make the videos going but i'm just gonna keep going try to make it work and shout out to you told line if you see this video don't worry i see you but uh <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to kind of like reach out to you guys what do you guys think how do you guys feel about temtem right now even the events um i, I swear crema is trying to push away their players themselves because that's something i wanted to discuss before we start is you know this this event right now i'm almost done with it i have to just do the digilair the 10 ranked times yes see, see i don't really even play competitive unless i'm recording so um there's literally proof i haven't done anything at all so um uh something that was kind of annoying for a lot of people is capture 100 untamed mimits and if you guys have tried capturing mimits you guys will know that <laughs> trying to catch mimits is very very difficult it's a very very grindy process it could take you a very long time so Something that I felt, thought that was very scummy of Rema to try to make themselves look good was that even though they they are aware, I, I want to put that out, they were aware that we disliked missions like these, like this Radar 1 and this Mimit 1, right? They were aware that we didn't want something like this because it's very, very frustrating and it takes so much time just to do these, um, just to do this one mission. And I don't mind it. I don't mind the thing is i don't mind if missions take you a while to do like there's it's a week it's it, we've got we've got like two weeks right so 
I don't I'm not I'm not one to care about it being grindy in a sense that as long as it's enjoyable. If it's something I can enjoy, something fresh, something new, something like it could have been something like made an event where a little area in Arisola or something where a little festival happens and you have to like beat these trainers and if you beat these trainers uh it gives you these points right could have been something like that right and you could have had like modifiers something like like how the how the uh, safari is you know things like that like something like that something kind of like fresh make it like unique could have been fun but they decided to just they, they decided to go with stuff like this and then the scummy part is that they know it's 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 not fun. I'm I'm sorry about my voice. It's still I'm still losing it. I guess the the scummy part was that on the Discord, um, like like I said, they're aware of this, right? And they try to um appease us, right? Like try to like make us happy by lowering the capture 100 on team limit to 20, right? They made it so it's 20 now, and you know, you to to people. People they're like, oh man, especially to like more newer players, they'll be like, wow, Crema finally listened. It's actually listening to us. They they made it twenty. No, dude, they they were fully aware that we didn't like this from past events, and they did it again. And they're doing it like this because it's it's something that Blizzard likes to pull as well, where they make it so uh, they do one thing. They know we we don't like it. They know their player base hates it, and they'll pretend that they're like listening, and then change it like it, it's a scummy way of doing things and crema is, is fully like fully aware of the things that we don't like so just just wanted to rant a little bit in this video that's so it's, it's gonna be a long intro but yeah just wanted to let you guys know um let's be careful with crema i know a lot of people are leaving the game and for good reason but anyways guys that's not what we're here for i just wanted to rant a little bit about crema because crema just likes making people you know leave the game so but for now, let's go ahead and look for a game. And I'll see you guys in the first game. Peace out until then. Alrighty, guys. Let's uh, start this uh, night with a win, hopefully. <laughs> but let's let's go into it. I've been wanting a Luma Venmet ever since I've been using this team. I've been wanting one. And I've done like maybe four Raiders and haven't gotten one. So uh, hopefully we get one soon. Oh, a Cernif again. I haven't seen a Cernif in so long. But something I don't like to see is... Cernif and um, Babawa, because those two alone are pretty, pretty scary. I forget what I ban on this team, or this team to work. I actually do for do forget what I ban on this team. Uh, toxics? Are Toxics that big of a problem? Like I said, I haven't, I don't play this game as much anymore. I just play when I record. It's the only enjoyment I I get anymore from from them to have it if I record. Uh, that's, hmm, Raycon's probably a good band though. Maybe the, the Koish could be a good band. Yeah, the Koish. Let's, let's ban the Koish. Koish is a good band here, actually. Mentals are like the main factor that we ban it for now, I remember. Mentals are like... Priority number one, and then digital is probably number two because uh, digitals are scary. Digitals are scary. He did ban my Porsche wine, which makes me sad. But that is, I guess, what's going to happen here. That means no rage. No rage, Gauzy. Honestly, I need to start testing it, but I mean, he does have a lot of uh, ways to fight me. Hmm. I kind of want to go Raikon here. Even if he goes his. I think that's okay because... Yeah, that should be fine. Although that Scaravolt is going to be a problem. Scaravolt is probably his best bet here. He should be going Scaravolt here. I think I have to focus it down too. If he decides to go it. But Scaravolt is his best play, I would say. A lot of, it was a lot of my Thames right now. Yeah, it, he needed to pick it. Uh, meaning, what does that mean? It means I need a ban. 
What do I ban? The Quetzalanio guy? Or it's Valash. It's Valash, right? Yeah, Valash. Because uh, it, it does kind of like stop my Vogon and my Golzi. And that's no bueno, bueno, bueno. They probably doubled in on my on my on my Ven mid though. Hundred percent. I don't have a toxic move on this uh on this What do I wait hold up? It's probably this. I don't have a toxic move on the on the Nidrasil though. But I can be problematic. But this Scaravolt is going to be problematic as well. Very big problem. And it is indeed. It is. Oh no, it's, it's indeed. Friend. Friend thingy. I wonder if I can get away with going Golzi into base jump on the Axolotl, maybe? With that thing out, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go for an Axolotl here. Switch into my Golzi here. That does not damage. That thing must be maxed. It has to be max. It's going for a fire tornado? I think I could think of it doing. Just gonna go for a savage here. Rykon, okay. Just gonna hit it. Damn, why am I doing so little damage? Are these things just max defense? Like a max a max attack. Okay, that's not fun, but that's um, expected, I guess. I'll just go for an uppercut and uh, Oshidashi on this side. Yeah, it does like no damage. All right, good friend. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. That was that was that was really dumb of me. Although embers, yeah, this guy's just going full bulk. What the heck? I am at minus three. What should I do here? Maybe I just switch out here for now. Switch back into this. Switch into Volgon. Oh, this guy's just maximum defense on everything he runs. What is this stall man? This guy really just running stall? That's what's that's what I'm getting from this. Uh I feel like just going for like a cage. This, you know, I won't be I won't even do any damage now though. Yeah, I'm just gonna cage it all.
I just don't want it to get... Oh, what? That goes into Scarable? That's so dumb. This guy's really just debuffing. Jesus Christ. This guy's just pure stall. Wow. That's crazy. It's playing star and I mean oh, that my good good friend is actually just pissing me off right now. And I can do the same thing though. Then just hemp your out out burst for now. Just gonna make this Scarabol just useless then. If he wants to play that game, I could do the same thing. I have to get a guy that's just playing stall. I'm just thinking I'm just gonna go for a uh and switch out probably back back out. Cause I can't really do much here. That scarabolt in the way. Scarabolt in the way is just very, very annoying. Good damage. Yeah, he's just gonna King's War again. It's just not really a problem. Here I'm just gonna cage now. I'm not letting this Rekon get away. I'm gonna get rid of it so I can stop spamming that. Honestly, I could've just gone for base jump. Oh my god, that cage, man. That move is so... Why is that a thing, dude? Why is cage... Th like, why is good friend, like, doing that? I really don't like that it does that. Oh man, he's just pure bulk. A really annoying thing. I have to deal with pure bulk. I have to deal with this thing. Um. You know what, we're gonna switch to Raycon here. Raycon is kind of useless here anyways. And just strangle. Because we have to deal with some dude playing style. Oh, that's an article too, so I have to be careful with that. With Pelo, of course. Better it we get that off than having to deal with this. Oh, 
but we have to deal with a Noxolotl and uh and this now. Oh, it's just pure, pure star, guys. Now you know why I don't play this game. <laughs> why I don't want to play. Exactly why. This is exactly why you don't want to play this game right now. Comes roll. Right now, I think what I need to do is just get the King's Roar. Because if I can just get King's Roar going, I should be fine. I just need to nerf this thing to the ground right now. Do we want Venmid here? King's Roar into a Rage should be fine. Let's get those that those things going as uh, as well. Um. Thing is, what do I do here now? Because I'm burned, so. Can't really do much else right now. And I don't know if this thing has the physical move or not. It could have water cutting Lily. So even me at minus, getting all those minus boosts are kind of messing me up right now. It's not going to kill me though, so it's fine. Let's go for a savage on this on this side. Yeah, get it down as much as I can. I really don't care about the scarab bolt right now. I could just play around it. And I'm lower I'm nerfing its damage so it's not even big that big of a problem either. I'm just gonna keep uh, hitting this thing. Should I just go for a base jump? No, I'll go for ninja. Uh, yeah, I'll go for ninja just in case. Get rid of it. Best way to deal with this stall, stalling piece of work right now I'm trying to not i'm trying to not be mean right now but <laughs> this guy really really wants to play stall okay now this thing comes out i'm just gonna king's roar i'm gonna switch into headshine here so i can keep my um ven mid alive and get another um boost Oh, I was actually slower than it. Oh, right, because I was at minus two. Okay, makes sense.
Makes sense, makes sense. I'm at plus eight now though. Go back into this, hit it with this. And just hit by generify. I should have went into Van Mid actually, because I needed the evasion. But that's okay. Give it the Oshidashi. So that's good damage. I'm a tank Gozi, buddy. You do not scare me. I'm just gonna switch out into Van Mid again. You wanted to play this game, dude. I'm just showing you what happens when you play this game. You wanna play Star? I can play I can play that game. Scarevolt is literally not doing anything. I just could care less. You keep doing that, buddy. I can play around this magma cannon stuff. I can outplay you, buddy. We're at minus one speed. Necro is a problem. I'm gonna switch out. Actually. It might go for this side. So I think maybe I should just Oshi this and just switch out into a giant. It's not going to kill because of the burn. But it should put it in a pretty good. Yep. Yeah, pretty good. The pillow is going to be annoying, but it's okay. We really don't care about the Scarable. That's cute. Do whatever you want. Just gonna go ahead and generify. Yep, okay. So I think that puts it good. Mm, no, I, I think we're fine. I think I can just go with that and just uh harmful this side. Yeah, it should be fine. I gotta do enough anything, but this should kill it now, right? Yep. The burn was the only reason it was kept alive, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it now. Up you magma, you do that. That's that's okay. Hope you're enjoying yourself, buddy. Hope you enjoyed stalling yourself, because that's what you ended up doing. God. Gotta love that. Alright guys, after a little um a little conversation with the honey and, and toad line and and six oh, I forgot his name. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna hate me. An air surfer. Oh, it's Clash Nagy. Ah, ah, Volerin. Ah, Volerin, Volerin, Volerin. Ah, oh, Gario, Gario, Gario. There's two things I don't want to see on that team. Gario and Oshiera. Oh, no, no, no. Why you got to ban the damn Golzi? I mean, the damn shrine. Let me have fun. I'm, I'm going to ban this thing. I know I have to ban the mentals, but... I gotta ban the Gario. Every time I let that damn smiling gecko through, I lose. 100%. So, I decided no more. That will not be the case today. Although, what do I do now? Uh, hmm. oh, uh, that's a good question. His entire team kind of wrecks mine, doesn't it? He's got the Turok, he's got the Pocus, he's got the Volarin. He's got the Scaling Badger, the Scaling Volarin, the Scaling the scaling Pocus, everything that scales is here. Mm. 
do I do then? This? Seems okay. Although then Tura comes out, right? And just ends my entire career. I have to ban Turok then. I'm gonna go to this lead if he doesn't go for it. Yeah, I have to ban it. We ban Turok. He really wanted that poke is through. Which could be beneficial for me. If he doesn't switch it out. No, no, nothing on his team wants to switch out into what I can do. So, this was probably the best play for me. It was, was Torok. I don't know why he didn't just ban Torok. Uh, yeah. Do that. Bring this. Possibly bring... That that Garunder is going to wall me so hard. We need something to kind of like swap things into. But yeah, that thing's gonna wall my Nidra cell so hard later. Just gonna go for the Thunder Strike here. We're not going to get any boost with this thing, but it's like better than nothing. If we can get rid of this, kind of opens up more for me to do. Uh, that's fine. Rejuvenate, gotta love it. Ooh. Play ball, that's fine. Because now it's in rush range. It is now in rush range. Now I can do something like strangle this side. He's thinking about it. He has to swap, swap right, but it's not going to be able to. But those, once, once um, Rykon goes down, I don't have a way to deal with the... Uh, with the um spike what well, i do but you know oh okay works for me i was just gonna do that buster comes out oh it's that thing cool hey okay, that thing's gonna come out I think I just do this. I am going to overexert anyways. It's kind of upsetty spaghetti, but Would I just double swap? Yeah, why not? Keep it alive. Might need it for later. The minus one doesn't do me too bad here. Okay. I was this close to hitting Ampere too. I didn't know if I wanted to. Um, I'm just gonna go for this and just go for like a major slash on on the on Spike. Crocodilia probably comes back. Yep. Yeah, we should have went for Spore then. I do not have much damage on this thing, but at least if I can get it down, should be fine.
No, that's pretty good. Put this thing to sleep if it's not energy drink, but we're gonna have to find out anyways. Actually. Um I'll just do this. What if it kills me? Not sure. Don't think so. No, it doesn't. That won't kill either. We're good. Tatru is a god. Just get rid of this. Get that slingshot boost. And hit it with the uh perfect. That thing's probably energy drink. 100 percent Getting rid of um the pocus was huge for me. Cause now he doesn't really have anything going for him. Yeah, souls coming out. Which is expected, right? We could probably put it to sleep and just go for like held anger. I don't think Crocodile is faster than us. It just lets me do my thing that I need to do. Oh, okay. That works too. Burn. I'm putting it to sleep anyways. It's not a big deal. Goes for the nauseous bomb. Let's see. Okay. Uh I was just going to Bogon here. Yeah, going to Bogon. Uh I wonder if we're faster than this thing. We're probably slower. I'm not I'm not max speed on this thing. Yeah, we should be fine. I'm just going to go for a Bark Shield here. And then just go for a Thunder Strike. Oh, Cheryl leaves. That's fine. I mean, oh, Cheryl leaves. It comes in. I'll just hit it with this. No problem. Take it out. One shot. Goes for the clay ball, clay, clay ball. That did overexert me though. Kind of a problem. So now he can go for a tornado. Fire cell tornado? Do that those even matter right here? Maybe not. I wonder if it matters. Could matter, actually. Now nah, we should be fine. I think. I think here we just go for a thunder strike. Even if we die here, it's fine. Yeah, we still get the hit in. It's not a big deal. Yeah, that's pretty good. Doesn't we don't die either? Maybe I should have gone for Ampere though. That might have been the play. But I'm gonna go for Ampere here in case I live. I doubt I will. Just cause then I get the um What did he go for? Tornado? That's fine. I mean he has to go for Baizo here. Right? Oh, we're slower. We're slower now? Really? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Okay. 
And there we go. Yeah, he lost that after. I just had to go for the uh, Garunder at that end. End game. Oh damn it, man! That last match, if if we if if I was able to get it through, if I got to defeat those temps. I would have gotten my ten on my my ten rank temps done. Damn it, man! Oh well. Either way, we have to do another one. Oh no, it's god damn, man! Now it's in the guys too. Why do they why do they ban Schwine? It's my my. Uh, oh my god! There's two there's two mentals though, and Agario. Two mentals in a Gario equals very, very sad. Very, very sad. Because they both equal pain. Tons and tons of pain. This is where we lose, right? What am I supposed to do? We got a Banadoro, but I don't see what I do here. Nidrasil, maybe? Nidrasil? Nidrasil looks okay here. Yeah. Then he bans Rykon, so you can get your Mirian through, right? 100%, right? Because it's either Rykon or... or um. Ima Bob. Can't do it both. We'll ban both of these. I mean, that's fine. At least I get my um We still have to deal with two mentals. So now Bogon doesn't really do much for me, right? It does not. It does not. Bongon's probably going to get absolutely blasted right now. I don't think it could re it could re uh, live the double in, so that's a problem. Because he just cold geysers and crystals, right? That's what he does. So this one's going to be really rough to, to beat. I'm wondering what am I supposed to do here? Because, you know, evasion. I think I have to rely on Tataru to kind of tank a little. Just a little. And just go into Tataru here. We could still use Golzi, right? And Golzi will get hit hard by the uh, Bloom Gatlin anyways. So we kind of don't want to... Lose to that right now. Going to Tataru. Get rid of that. Yeah, there's a soil steam. Thought I could take it though. That was a good boy. Now I'm wondering if he stays in. Because if he doesn't, I can go into Rykon here. Then Okama comes out, right? But at least it scares it away. No, I think I just stay in and just go for like a major slash or something. Maybe even a bestial charge could work. Or we could start getting spores, actually. I stayed in anyways. Probably better I just go for a spore here. Just to get a slingshot proc. There's a soil steam again. Uh, I don't think at plus one I outspeed anything though. I think I'm just gonna go for a this and just go for Beast Yo. 
Gario being played again, man. But yeah, that's that's the guys for you. The ain't the guys. Thankfully, I was not trying to leave, so works out for me. We will, on the other hand, leave. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Was that adrenaline shot? No, it wasn't. I wish I could keep it in, but I know I can't. Go into Golzi. Put it to sleep. And then rage. Because we could just uppercut. Then he probably goes into uh, two wire. I'm going to do this. I think it's fine to do. Yeah, he's going to switch out. That's fine with me, actually. That's actually way better for me. That's really good for me, actually. I can Bark Shield and go for an uh, Uppercut on it. And get my, plus, my, my defense back, which is actually pretty big. I was going to Spore to get my thing back, but I think Bark Shield actually is the way to go here. Let's me uh, actually live whatever this thing decides to do to me. Now the question is, does a plus one give enough speed? Golzi? I don't think so. Get back that. To where it comes out. My thing is, I don't know how well we can take a um an attack from that thing. I am a plus four attack, but I'm not sure how well I can take the attack. How badly do I need my recon? Pretty badly, right? Does he go for my... No, he probably does go for my... Um, for my goals he slot, right? That makes sense to do. I kind of want to switch this. Raycon into this slot. Keep them alive, like, without taking too much damage. I think Nidra Cell and Golzi are going to be, like, my win con right here. That's what I'm thinking here. Yeah. Although he didn't do what I was expecting him to do. But better than nothing. I'm thinking of just doing this and just letting. Hmm. Can we go back into Nitro Cell here? Could still be useful to you, that's why. Just strangle and dip out into Nidra Cell. 
Do we need to though? We could just strangle. Yeah, into Nidrasil. I think that's fine. Block, okay. For some reason this thing runs block. Now we're just gonna cage it. Hell, do we even have to cage it? Yeah, we'll cage it in and just put this one to sleep. Or we could just put this to sleep, actually, after caging it. Yeah, I think that's a good play. Yep, you're not you're not leaving, buddy. You know, for that, still at plus my uh, plus one defense. Then we can just thunder strike it. I just go for like a spore or something. Or we could just uh rest. Get rid of it. Get rid of the two wire here. That's why I put it to sleep so I couldn't like hurt my Nidra cell. That's fine. Not really a big deal. Not yet at least. Tremere comes back out. I'm completely fine with that. Switch into Raikon here. And just uh, leave. Good thing is that I did not um, decide to Attack. Really fine with it though, of going down here. I could quit Selenia, but I probably just get hit by a uh, thingy. And he just leaves anyways. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just quit Selenia. And just Spore, I guess. Okay. That's fine too. Not that big of a problem. Red plus three speed though. Damn, it doesn't give me enough. I'm to Gozi here. Just go for like a hasty lunge into a possibly just a spore here. I don't think a double in kills me like ever. Wish I could just spore my own Golzi. Yeah, why not? Does not kill, sadly.
There's a wastewater, but the wastewater doesn't really bother me here. Probably just go for another hasty here. And then just, uh... I have to go for hasty, right? Or I could like swap out into Volgon, just spores it. Just have it go down. To poison. Which I think it works out for me. I wonder if this thing is energy drink though. We're already adrenaline. So yeah, we're just gonna... That's not what I wanted to do. We're just gonna switch into Golzi here now. And Hypnosis. And hope it's not energy drink, because if it's energy drink, I lose. I mean, I don't know what else it would be. It is, yeah. Uh, but I had no other choice. Oh, he went into the wrong slot, though. Do we live the hit though? It's a question. The energy drink, of course it is, right? Oh, we're faster than it. And that's GG. Oh, we're faster than it, then it's not a big deal. This thing is not going to be able to beat us by itself. Yep, GG. Let's go! Rage Gozi! <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video. We're only going to be doing three. Not re mainly be not because of the whole stall at the beginning. And honestly, these were pretty long ones too. Like maybe 15, 17. Do I think the first one probably took longer. I, I actually don't know, but... Because it will stall. So we went straight, I think, to 25 turns, and that's why I won. Because I had more health than and more thumbs than him. Which well deserved. Play stall. Well deserved. But um yeah, um there was a lot of um nuisances to, to, to that to, um tonight. Thankfully we actually ended up beating them though. Um, like Volorant scale it was it was a lot of scaling temps, like self scaling, like they don't really help. Whereas me using what I'm using, I kind of need help by scaling. I don't really have like, I'm not getting plus four attack simply by hitting something, right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting free stats just for, you know, attacking my opponent. I'm, I'm actually having to think when I use rage and when I decide to use anything that helps me scale. And, um, you know, it's, it's a lot different than when you, and just hit the attack button with Valash or Polaren and you get free plus two plus twos on like your stats, right? So it's a lot it's a lot harder to pull off. So I'm actually just glad though that we got to showcase Golzi. Full take charge Golzi with uh tank stats. It worked out really well, especially with a lot of the um what we were fighting. Guy was trying to like the last guy was trying to do blocks, but that wasn't really gonna help him. I had much more scaling than he did and as long as they played around it i was fine that chimerian had to have been your bulk because it had no speed i had no prior speed boost on my gozi my gozi isn't the fastest it's only 32 30, 33 speed i only gave it like a break point amount maybe he did too but 232 i do 233 for that reason but if gozi 
didn't go first might have been an issue maybe not really I don't think so because I will still have Bogon to deal with the Mushuk back unless it decided to attack the, uh, the Bogon there but it would still lose to the Z plus well not really it wouldn't lose to a in a cell actually so yeah I guess it depended if I was faster or not so me being faster it would win me the game there because Ghosty could deal with it, but it would be it would take a while because it was a plus eight. Uh, the best thing I currently could have done is probably put it to sleep, maybe rage up, try to like hasty lunge it to death. But that's a big if, because then it would be normal damage at that point. But I would be at minus three because of it. But you know, team's working out pretty well. I'm thankful for uh, this team uh, pretty well this time around. We managed to get three wins with it. Uh, Venmid didn't really get to play the game. That's the first one, and uh, but the one that I really wanted to showcase was that Golzi. Just purely what I wanted to bring. I wanted to do Schwein Golzi, but Schwein gets banned all the time, which is expected. I mean, I, I don't, I shouldn't expect it to get in, but the nut bar Golzi with Voltaic Charge definitely helped out. That little bit of health that came back after hitting definitely came clutch in a lot of things, and then getting the um. Yeah, just getting just being able to like get Golzi to actually survive longer really helps out. So yeah, here's a spread if you want to see what I ran. Uh, like I said, you kind of rely on rage to do damage though. So without rage, you won't be doing as much damage. But thanks to the rage, you should be doing it's like a free 500 t a thousand TVs into your attack. So this is what I went with a little bit of bulk, as much HP as possible, a little bit of stamina, and some speed. So it's kind of hard, but you have to kind of like spread it out. And then you really should need, if you decide to use this kind of Gozi, you definitely need like a whip user. Mine's is on Rykon just mainly because of the combo with Venmet. But I mean, whip can be on anyone to help Gozi. It could even be on your shrine if you want. But you know, there's always, there's always stuff that you can do with it. Sometimes it's also just beneficial to be slower though. Because if you're slower than your opponent, um, especially a physical attacker, you, you should be able to get a rage off before the uh, minus three and then just bring him back in when you can raise that defense back up or you know just in a better favorable matchup but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry about the rant at the beginning um like i said the game's kind of just stale as you can see the Aina guy showed up again stall you know it's just all that kind of stuff and that's kind of why i don't really play this game much so yeah thank you guys for watching though and i'll see you guys in the next video peace